rap music. I love all music, but I feel like rap music kind of just gets my adrenaline going, you know. Um, I kind of, I'll start off, you know, pre-game with like a chill, a chill playlist, you know, like hip-hop. And then like right before kickoff, you know, I'll just kind of, um, you know, just get that adrenaline going. Um, I like to stay calm before games, so, you know, I'm not really the one getting up and dancing and things like that. But um, I definitely wanna, don't want to be listening to sad country songs. <laughs> I love hunting and fishing. Um, you know, growing up, I've been hunting and fishing since probably I was months old. You know, um, I love duck hunting in particular. Um, fishing, I mean, we lived on a boat for three years in Destin, so you can only imagine how much fishing we did with that. Um, every day after school, you know, we'll go run the river or you know, go fishing or duck season, we'll go shoot ducks. Um, I love to play golf. You know, on my off time, and honestly, just you know, spend times with family and friends. I think I'd just be a you know, normal student, um, you know, obviously I'd you know, still be working out and staying in shape and things like that. Um, I don't know if I'd be going to LSU, you know, which is pretty scary, but you know, I'm excited that I am. Um, you know, I'd be able to have a summer, you know, but that's, uh, I've never, I've not had a summer previous just through football, so it's not going to be anything different. Um, I'm actually excited that, you know, I can get down there in the summer and kind of be, you know, finally be in college. Um, but yeah, I'd just be, be a normal kid. You know, I'm thinking about studying construction management as my backup plan. Um, you know, I, I love building things. Um, you know, uh, Stanislaus offered a construction class last year and I took that. Um, you know, probably one of the coolest classes that I've ever, you know, been in. To be able to, to learn the things, you know, that, that are actually real life scenarios, you know, about you know, plumbing or electricity, you know, just things that all happen on a daily basis. Um, but I enjoy that, so probably that. I am, you know, I'm pro you know, I like to, I am, yes, I, I, you know, I definitely get brownie points for that, but, um, you know, I love both my parents, they both support me throughout any decision, you know, they're going to back me 110%, um, and, you know, that's not really in every household, so I'm beyond grateful for that, um, you know, as a family, we've been through a lot, um, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're still together, and we still love each other, so that's the biggest thing. My favorite food, honestly, is probably definitely steak and potatoes. You know, I just love a good, good cooked steak. Um, like probably my, you know, honestly, I don't eat a lot before pregame. Um, I have this weird, weird thing where I throw up before every game. You know, it's kind of just butterflies and nerves. Um, really weird that, you know, the, the two games I didn't throw up this past year we lost. Uh, so you know, I don't have to get into that. But one was Tad Gormley and one was Mendenhall. That you know, um, but. You know, I kind of just, you know, eat healthy before a game just to give my body some energy and then just go out and I'll definitely eat a big meal after the game though. I think it's just, you know, butterflies, adrenaline, nerves, you know, not really nerves of failure, just nerves of going to play the game, you know, it's, uh, but that's just because I love it, you know, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have any nerves, I wouldn't care or anything like that, but, um, you know, I definitely see that carrying over to LSU, you know, it's a lot different uh, aspect, but, you know. It is, it is what it is. Um, favorite place to eat in the city? Casually, probably uh, Bud's Broiler. You know, I, I love their burgers. Um, a fancy restaurant, probably Drago's. You know, they have that in the Hilton right there on the river. Definitely Cancun, Mexico. We've been going there. We've had a timeshare there for about 75 years now. You know, just passed down through generations and we'll go for two weeks every summer. So, you know, depending on my schedule this year, it might be a week, you know, whatever week we have off. But, um, you know, it's nice just to get away, lose connection, you know, lose all service with your phone and just go out and enjoy yourself and kind of live in paradise for a week. They're probably Peyton Manning, just because, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a Louisiana, you know, man now, I guess you could say. Um, you know, our families are pretty close. You know, we spend a lot of time with the Manning family. Um, and to see what he's done, you know, throughout the years um, is crazy. And I, I, I kind of model myself after him, just the, the style of the game that he plays and, and what he does on, on the field and especially off the field is, is huge. Um, so, you know, that, that's pretty neat. And, you know, to, to go out like he did is, 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 you know, unheard of. Never stop. You know, I know it's just a, a cliche probably, but, you know, there's nothing you know, if you, I know for me, if, if I set my mind towards something, you know, I'm not going to stop until I achieve that goal. Um, and, you know, just using the failures and, and everything as a life lesson and to, to be able to grow on that and build on that. Um, and, you know, never just, never see a negative side to anything. You know, always see a positive and get better from anything, whether 
whether it's failure or you know whether I succeed in something, you know, always I can always learn from it and get better. You know, this year probably just my my number one goal going there is. Uh, you know, definitely get acclimated quickly. Um, you know, fortunately, I am close to home, so that's good. Um, learning the offense, you know, a lot quicker than most guys. Um, and then just, you know, just kind of get rolling, you know, really um, start flowing with the players, you know, getting to meet all those guys and, and the receivers, just, you know, have that relationship once, you know, it's good time. I'm uh, hardworking, you know, I, uh, I've grown up that way, and that's kind of how I've gotten to where I am today. Um, I'm never going to stop, you know, whether it's uh, I play a bad game, a good game, you know, I'm always going to improve and get better, um, and I, I won't let them down.